the biggest question a lot of people are asking, how could something like this happen? Tyler Melito joins us with information about what we can do to prevent accidents like that, and more than that, how we can make school buses safer. We do not know what caused this crash, but Kentucky State Police says the bus went off the side of the road, the driver overcorrected, and the bus went down a hill and crashed. The Kentucky Department of Transportation says the state works to improve school bus safety if there is a crash. Those improvements minimize injuries and hopefully deaths, but some say there are simple ways to make buses safer. Seat belts, uh, no, the school buses do not have seat belts. But there are plenty of safety improvements that helped in the McGoffin County crash. We have rollover features on the school bus, which helps keep the roof intact, uh, helps keep the body intact um, when there is an accident. The bus was driving down Kentucky Route 40 in Salyersville. Given the narrow nature of the road, there have been calls for implementing a guardrail, as this is not the first accident to happen in the area. Judge Executive Matt Wireman says all options are on the table. Um, as I understand it, there was uh, <clears throat> there, that that is an area that uh, has been slated for uh, the possibility of putting up a guardrail, uh, but there's a lot of uh, infrastructure under the road when it comes to water and sewer, and it, it has created uh, some barriers to getting that done uh, at the present time. Uh, you know, anytime a tragedy like this happens, that obviously uh, causes things to uh, the possibility to accelerate. Uh, so we'll definitely be looking into that. As for changing the bus route? I'm sure that could be explored, but I don't know how feasible it would be considering uh, the number of roads that would feed into that uh, into that uh, Route 40. There's a lot of uh, side roads and areas that we cover that several buses run through there. We are looking into how the bus rolled down the hill. There are conflicting reports. Did it flip over its side or nose? Or did it spin out? KSP says that part of the investigation, we will know more when it concludes. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Molito.